Till that the founder of Old Bay Seafood Seasoning founded his own company after being fired by McCormick after two days on the job after they found out he was Jewish. This is a really good till up. Bravo. Excuse me whilst I dive into the spice trader wormhole. There's some irony in a Jewish person inventing the world's best shellfish seasoning. Also Old Bay Seasoning is having some trouble and most likely out of stock at your local grocery store. Article is from pre-summer but I still can't season my sea things. HTTPS colon slash slash www. CNBC. Com slash 2020 slash 04 slash 02 slash McCormick CEO Lawrence Garcia's China coming back after coronavirus. HTML. Ironically, we in Maryland use it when steaming crabs. Crabs are scavengers, thus not kosher. Imagine being sent to a concentration camp because you're Jewish, escaping to America for a better life, just to be fired from your new job when they find out you're Jewish. Unthinkable, but some people prosper in adversity. After what sorry? Crab dust, spite store, as a Eastern Shore Maryland resident, Old Bay is in my blood, I love this seasoning. I had it all my life, and it goes great on everything. Funny enough, I've been hankering for some Old Bay wedges today. I put that on everything face savoring food face savoring food face savoring food. Fuckers will never have a decent seafood boil without me. I appreciate his work. It's my preferred seasoning on salmon. This is all I could think of. HTTPS colon slash slash you do. B slash X M J M D E D swek. Wait wait wait. A Jewish guy created the seasoning most often, and deliciously, applied to shellfish. I hate seafood but the smell of Old Bay is magical, and McCormick would go on to eventually buy them out. Oy Bay. I added Old Bay to some chicken tonight and it made it taste like trout so I'm going to respectfully disagree with the label claiming it as a poultry seasoning. Lorries equals Old Bay plus salt. As someone from the UK, I only know about Old Bay from a Brian David Gilbert video. I want to try it. But he used it on shellfish, I'm happy my red lobster cheddar biscuit copycat recipe is has conviction in every bite. Ah the good old Semite spite. What the duck is wrong with olden people brothers. What's up Hunt Valley. Love. That. Shit. Maryland baby. Great reason to not buy McCormick. To be fair, if an employee was hired for his delicious brand shrimp and crab seasoning and you found out that he can't eat shrimp or crab you'd probably tell him to GTFO. It is amazing that it took human beings like 200,000 years to stop knee-jerking damn, you're weird will someone get rid of you, please, every time two cultures interact. I mean, humanity is still like that, but at least it's mostly mature enough to hate itself for it, at the moment. I've often wondered if there's something specific in Old Bay that I don't like the taste of, or if it's just the combination. If cilantro is in it that would be the reason. So many places around here ruin perfectly good fried potatoes with it. Imagine what he'd have done if he was with them longer lol. It's how you respond to adversity, right? I bought some Old Bay in the US about two years ago because it was something I grew up with and two years later I still have a bit and am not sure how I put it in every soup I make. I grew up and worked in Caucusville MD, you can smell the spices from the plant a few times a day. Love it? I was on your side crying face. It's pretty ironic that a seasoning that's generally used on seafood was invented by someone who can't even eat shellfish. If you're from Baltimore. Then you know the score. Everything tastes better. With a little old bay. Musical notes if you're from Baltimore then you know the score. HTTPS colon slash slash you do. B slash X M J M D E D swek. Musical notes. That's like totally not cash money of them. This just makes me love this stuff even more. When I make a crab boil I'll pour in like half a tin. Then I'm just like fuck it. Bam whole tin. This is after I buy the like crab boil bag and the oil juice stuff too, haha. <laughs> Love this stuff. Really want to find the hot sauce, thanks for the attention to detail. Didn't catch that. That's an interesting bit of info.
Sprinkle that shit all over a Bloody Mary. Not on my watch. Oi ve slash old bay. It makes sense. That's some spicy information, no shit. Old bay rules. Tastes way better than anything else on the market. Use it almost every day on omelets, steak, chicken, seafood, in stews and soups. Main ingredient is celery salt whatever that is. Thanks for sharing a great story. I thought Old Bay was just a Maryland thing do other states slash countries like the stuff. Someone warns Al Pacino. Old Bay on fries can't be beat. Maryland is a nice state. We're not really that remarkable but I enjoyed living there. That headline makes me a little happier than I already was that I use Old Bay. For anyone who hasn't tried it, give it a shot. Pretty tasty stuff emo that has a wide range of food uses. Slash r slash title gore, now, we preach Chesapeake. Put it on everything. This guy, I'm going to go make my own spice. And it's going to be delicious and iconic. After. In fairness to McCormick, Jewish food is pretty bland. The real till is always in the comments. Can someone help me understand why a lot of Americans don't like Jews? Like, I wouldn't condone it, but I would get it with Muslims. The extremists blow stuff up and kill people, so one might tar the whole group with that brush. Extremist Jews don't seem to have really done anything. Does an extremist Jew even exist? I've sure never heard of it. I can't understand the reasoning, even trying to put myself in the shoes of a racist. Slash r slash title gore. After after after. I'll probably get down votes but oh well. I'm from Louisiana. We use Tony's a lot. I took a trip to Baltimore for the first time a year or two ago. Everything they cooked was so oversaturated with Old Bay it was terrible. I find Old Bay has this crazy aftertaste. They are super proud of their Old Bay up there, as I guess we are with Tony's, but geez, the over-application just ruins so much of the food there. There's that hashtag Jewish privilege again. Edit, was the slash s not obvious enough? Do you people have the memory of a goldfish that you don't remember the backslash hashtag Jewish privilege trending that eventually got co-opted by actual Jews telling stories of discrimination? Does anybody else find it funny that a product often used to season shellfish was founded by a Jewish person? Maybe he didn't keep kosher, but still kinda funny. They fired him just for being Jewish. That's weird. You used after three times in one sentence. That's sloppy. Ain't no yid is gonna work for me ya yeah, hear that.